Shalom. Call her love. Yahweh by Shem Nawashai, by Hashem Mukakadash. Double honors unto the apostles, double honors unto the elder bishops. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerely risking their lives and their freedom to do so, now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners among the heathens that look like the heathens, and to the Akwath that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm. From the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, coming into another lesson in truth. And um, <clears throat> I just want to do this lesson. This, I guess this is more of an admonishment, you know, not to, uh, to, and a warning, not to take for granted this gift. We've been given this gift of faith and this gift of knowledge. Um, because, you know, we could be completely lost in the world, you know, and not know any of this. OK, because, um, you know, you ha you can't we could be like people who, who have no idea what's going on, you know, or, you know, be the type of person whose mindset that doesn't care what's going on. Or, and then uh, the worst type of person that is the one that's oblivious and have no idea what's going on. And, and, you know, we've been given the understanding of the of the the mysteries of which have been hidden for, you know, for thousands of years, hundreds and thousands of years. All right, so I'm going to start with Proverbs. This is Proverbs 3 and, um, and 1. And it says, My son, forget not my law, but let not thine heart, <clears throat> but let not thine heart keep my commandments, but let thine heart, Salakia, let thine heart keep my commandments for the length of days and long life and for peace shall, shall be added unto thee. So, you know, your life is going to be a lot better. Uh, if you follow the law, statutes, and commandments, the Lord will protect you from certain things, you know. And um, verse 3, it says, let, let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon thy, the table of thine heart. All right, so you got to keep to mind the things that we've learned and apply them, you know. Uh, the order, the, the, the name, you know. In order, I say again. All right, it said, trust in Yahweh with all thy heart and lean not into thine own understanding. Don't ever try to make it about you, what you think and feel. All right, that's a very dangerous thing to do. That whole I think and feel, well, you know, that that's, there's a lot of people going to think and feel their way straight to destruction. And we, we don't want to be among them. I'm going to jump to verse 7. It says, be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear Yahweh and depart from evil. All right. Um. I'm going to jump to verse, verse 11. It says, My son, despise not the chastening of Yahweh, neither be weary of, 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 of his correction. All right? So, you know, like it says, be cheerful when we're brought to a lower state. And we are constantly in a lower state. But the Lord is chastising us, and he only chastises those that he loves. Because he's purging us to purge the wicked man out of us. He's purging us so that we, we learn. We're given perfect examples of wickedness so we, that we become the perfect judges. When it's time for us to be the judges of the world, when we're the new government. All right, it says, and for Yahweh loveth, he correcteth. All right, I'm going to read it again. For whom Yahweh loveth, he correcteth, even as the father, the son, whom he delighteth. All right, because the father, you know, I don't know any father to take pleasure in, um, in beating his son. <clears throat> you know, um, my father, you know, he, he punished me when I was a kid, and he didn't have to do it too often because I was smart enough. I didn't want that again. <laughs> you know what I mean? All right. I actually feared my, my father as a child, just like I fear Yahweh now. All right. It says, happy is a man that findeth wisdom and the man that getteth understanding. So we get wisdom and understanding, man. We got to stand by it because that's the only only comfort we have, you know, um, in this life. Let me go to, uh, to Proverbs 2, actually. Let's, let's go to the next chapter. And I'm going to read verses 6 through 9. And it reads... For Yahweh give a wisdom out of his mouth, and out of his mouth come his understanding, and come knowledge and understanding. So like I got a big glare when I'm trying to read here. Um, it says, For Yahweh give a wisdom out of out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for righteousness. He is the buckler to them that walketh uprightly. He keepeth the paths of judgment and preserveth the ways of his saints. All right. So this is all about Israel. This is not about the other people, man. They have nothing, absolutely nothing to do with this. 
All right. Then thou, then thou shalt understand righteousness and judgment and equity and yeah, every good path. So once again, so that we can become, you know, the perfect judges, righteous judges over all these people that are round, round about when that time comes. And that time is getting very close, dangerously close. All right. Because we don't want to, you know. Hey, hey, can I hit you back? Izzy, I'm right in the middle of a lesson. Okay, gotcha. All right. I would have uh, ignored that, but I'm glad I, now I know. <laughs> All right, let me go to uh, the book of uh, Sirach. Chapter 23. And I'm going to start at verse 17. All right, and it says, all bread is sweet to a whoremonger. He will not leave off till he die. All right, so, you know, um, <clears throat> a whoremonger, <laughs> well, that's, that's pretty self-explanatory. So verse 18, and a man that break of wedlock say of thus, thus in his heart, who seeth me? I am compassed about with darkness. The walls cover me. All right. And nobody seeth me. What need I fear? The Most High will not remember my sins. So, you know, what's done in the dark shall be brought to the light. You know, even the church folk tell you that. All right? So as you clapping them cheeks that belong to somebody else, being a whoremonger, breaking wedlock, the Lord has a special punishment for you. And, and I, I'm reading this because disobeying the Lord is, is, is kind of like committing adultery, you know? And we're going against him. And that's why we ended up in the situation that we're in now. That's why our women are the way that they are. And why our women are so adulterous uh, toward us. It's part of our punishment. All right. Uh, verse 20. Um, it's verse 19. Such a man only fear of the eyes of men. And know of not that the eyes of Yahweh are ten times brighter than the sun beholding all the ways of men and considering the most secret part so we the lord sees all and we get away with nothing you know the angels got that i'm going to tell spirit you know that tattletale spirit that's what they do all right they record everything from those chariots they're they're watchers just like we're watching down here they're watching us watching they report back everything and when you're going off you backbiting you know you you uh uh you know, you're, 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 you're sowing seeds of uh, discontent. You know, the Lord sees, hey, he's going to get that report. All right. And it reads, he knew all things ere ever they were created. So also after that they were perfected, he looked upon them all. All right. It says, I'm trying to get a, avoid this glare that's behind me. It says, this man shall be punished in the streets of the city and where there where he suspect of not he shall be taken and, and i remember hey how the brothers you know was putting on the on the, uh, instagram not the instagram the uh, the whatsapp all those you know some pretty violent people uh, 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 people being put to death in pretty violent acts and i know that all these people committed committed sins that that the lord allowed that to happen to them i saw two different people get beat and burned to death I saw a man get beat to death and his head hacked apart with a machete. Um, I saw an Edomite couple get put to death by their neighbor. He shot them both multiple times, went back in the, in the house and got a bigger weapon and came out and shot them again. You know, I, I watched uh, uh, all those men who, who uh, were the, I guess all the engineers that had, to, that had put all those rubber things in the buildings. You know, I guess it's some, some sort of buffer. That was supposed to go in the buildings to help them when the ground shakes for earthquakes over in Turkey. And all those people that had anything to do with those buildings, they found that they had replaced it. I guess they took the money. Um, instead of putting the proper materials in the building, they put tires. And so all the tires that, uh, you know, tens of, ten, I think it was like 10,000 people died. So they took all the tires that they used instead of the materials they were supposed to, dug a big hole and threw and pushed them all into the hole and then shot them all in the hole big mass grave it was crazy man and you know and the lord would do the same thing to us allow us to die in the street all right allow us to die heinous deaths shameful deaths 
you know, uh, um, for, for going against his will. All right. Um, ver going back to uh, uh, verse 22 now. And it says, now we're going to get at the women. That's the men. Now we're going to get at the women. It says, thus, um, thus shall it go also with the wife that leaveth her husband and bringeth in the heir of another. I've seen so many videos over these last couple of months with, with women, uh, men who get the DNA test and found out the children that they were raising were not theirs. And the women were more upset that the man did the DNA test than at the fact what they did. None of them apologized instantly and they will just... And, and, and then tried to argue. You have no argument in something like that. None. None. You should be begging for mercy and forgiveness, you know, <laughs> if anything. But, hey. Uh, but, you know, we live in a society that rewards that type of behavior. All right? Because the woman will get, you know, child support and alimony and, you know. And it's like it said. So we live in a, a society that gives incentives for women to be that way. All right. It says, uh, thus, I'm reading 22 again. Thus it shall go also for the wife that leaveth her husband and bringeth in an heir by another. For first she have disobeyed the law of the Most High. And secondly, she have trespassed against her own husband. And thirdly, she, shall, she has played the whore in adultery and brought children by another man. She shall be brought out into the congregation and an inquisition shall be made of her children. See, so a woman was shamed and punished and put on, on blast for this. They wouldn't do it so much. All right. It says her children shall not take root. Her branches shall bring forth no fruit. So, it's, so her children will not even take root. They wouldn't be allowed to be. A, she and her children will be cast out with nothing. All right. It says her children shall not take root and her branches shall bring forth no fruit. She shall leave. Her uh, her memory to be accursed and her reproach shall be blotted out. So and that is what's going to happen to uh, to both men and women who go against the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And it's going to be even worse for the men who, you, you know, who are uh, uh, especially those men that actually have done the work, who's actually been brought into the fold. You know, so you got to be careful what you say and what you do and how you operate. All right. So with that. I'm going to give all praises, all honor and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash, Wa Ababa Ball, Kwam Yasurala, Shalom.